So, if this is your first look at Axes and Acres, you probably have no idea what's going on. So if we want to start here, this is the board. Um, if you can see my cursor in the top left here, this is the board. And the board is where everything in the game is going to take place. Um, each of these spaces can uh, contain a building, and the buildings are sort of the main part of the game. They're what give you the points, and they're what allow you to win. So, for example, this is a house, this is a tree, rabbits, stones, and over here are barbarian spawners. And all of these different things on the board you can interact with using your dice, which are workers. So this is your pool of workers right now in the bottom left here. And each of these dice right now is a basic peasant, basic worker. They're all the same, but at the start of every turn you roll them and it will roll to one of these six faces showing and the different faces correspond to different actions that the workers will perform once they're on the board. But these are your buildings. There's uh, 15 buildings. These are the basic ones. When you hover over any of them, it'll tell you all about them. There's more. Uh, and we'll come back to those later. The buildings are sort of the main part of the game as you're going to move around the board and build them. And that's going to allow you to get points and to do different things. Um, so to tell you what you need to do to win the game, uh, there are three phases in each game. And in each phase, there's going to be three different things that can give you victory points. So the first one, build building. Anytime you build anything from here, you're going to gain a point while you're in this phase. Uh, have five roads. So if you have five roads at some point during this phase, you will get five points. And work farm. Anytime you work a farm, which is one of the buildings, and farms uh, can be worked to get you food, anytime you work a farm, you're going to get a point. Um, so the trick here is that we have to get 11 victory points by round 12 and so if we don't get 11 by round 12 we're gonna lose These are your resources you have food wood and stone and as you can see you hover over things and they'll usually tell you what you what they are not everything but most things you can see down in the left there tree work then gather for two wood or you can gather for food yeah almost everything you can hover over it and it'll give you a, a description of what that thing is. The main place you will deploy dice is to a house. So I'm gonna select, click and select the reproduce die, and you can see it highlights the places that I can use them. I can use it on these two houses, or I could use it on this card to gain one food, but I wanna deploy it, so I'll click my house and deploy it. Now, um, one reproduce die alone is not enough. Two to reproduce. Um, should be sort of intuitive I think um, and then we want to activate these dice so these dice being here alone they don't do anything on their own we can click them house kind of wiggles but nothing happens so to activate them we have to use one of our dice in our pool and so we click it and then we can activate so that's asking us do we want to deploy this worker or do we want to use it to activate the reproduce now any dice can be used to activate another die it doesn't matter what face is showing unless you're using it on one of the cards or if you're deploying it then its face will be what you get to use but right now we're activating so it doesn't matter which I'm gonna use my worker here and I'm gonna reproduce and then since there are two dice there I need two dice to activate them both so I'm going to click my gathering hand here and use that one as well so now those dice are gone they all went back to my pool but you can see I got an extra die there's five dice here six seven and I started with six and now I have seven dice um, the one other thing that's important about reproduce is that um, this is my supply I have seven of eight now and so each house gives you four supply and so if I have if I reproduce one more time I'll have to build another house before I can reproduce again so now that I've done that, I probably need to get some food because I only have two food left. Each time I deploy a die to the board, it uses up a food. So I'm going to deploy this worker, you can see, and now I have one food where I had two before. And it tells me here I'm running low on food to deploy workers. 
So now I have one die left, and I'm going to use this die to allow me to move my, my worker across the board. So to move my worker across the board, I take my gather and I go to the two move. There's also a, a move here, and this is move later, and you can use stored moves. But you only get one if you use this. There. Click him and move there. So that's all the moves. I'm out of dice. None of the cards can help me right now. And so I'm going to end my turn. And when I end my turn, all these dice, my used dice, are going to re-roll into my pool. This guy's going to stay out there because he's deployed onto the board. Here we are. This is what I rolled for this turn. Um, I still want to try and get to this little rabbit over here. You can hear him bouncing. Um, because he's going to give me food, and I'm almost out of food. Each turn, you get a free food. Uh, so you can always deploy at least one die. So I could deploy two dice this turn, but uh, that's not a lot. It's gonna. I have to deploy a gather die. Um, and now I only have one food left. I'm running low. Because to get this rabbit, I'm going to have to work to hunt it. And then I'm going to have to send my gatherer out to gather the food from that space. So I have two reproduce die here again. But I don't think I'm going to be able to reproduce this turn. Because I need to go move out to this rabbit. And since there's two and then six spaces for these two dice to both get there that's going to take three of my dice so i'm not going to be able to reproduce this turn um, and i don't need a reroll so i'm going to use the bono effect so with a reproduce die i can gain one food so i use that and i got two food now <coughs> still not enough so i'm going to go get this rabbit so i drag these dice to the move I click here and i move him to the rabbit and now he's on the rabbit i have to activate him so any die i can activate him i can use this build die activate him if I want to and so I click here and the rabbit was hunted and now there's five food in that space which I can go get with my gather die and so I'm gonna send him out so now he's on the space with the food and I need to activate him but I'm out of dice luckily I have the gather card so this gather allows me to activate one gatherer on the board there we go and now I got five food I'm out of dice I have a build card but no builder out so that's gonna be the end of the round now I have all seven of my dice now I have reproduce again I have two reproduce die which is lucky there's only uh, one out of the six faces on this die has reproduced so I've been actually kinda lucky this game um, because obviously the more workers that have you have the more you're able to do and so reproducing early can be strong to reproduce again so I deployed my two reproduce to the house. They each took a food. My one food that I got free this turn and then one of my food, I was at seven, now I'm at six. And then I have to activate them and I'm gonna have to use two dice. Um, and I think I wanna build a building this turn. And so I'm not gonna use my builders. I'm gonna use a worker here. And I wanna re reproduce, not deploy. And then I have to use one more die, I'm going to click this gather, there's nothing to gather this turn, so I don't need that. So then I'm going to deploy a builder. And I think I want to make a farm, because a farm, if I work it, gives me a point. And also building a building gives me a point. So when I build the farm, I'm going to get a point. And every time I work it, I'm going to get a point. So that will allow me to have food. The farm gives me food, and also it will get me points, uh, which will work towards getting the 11 points by the end of this round. And that's sort of the trick to axes and acres: is figuring out what will allow you to get food and build your city up and prosper, while also um, completing these victory point objectives um, before the end of the round limit. So I have this guy. I need to move him out here build a farm. Farms have to be built next to the water, um, but that's fine. I have a spot right near my house. So I can build the farm right here, and I need to get my builder there. Now I have two dice left. I'm going to use this builder to get the stronger effect of this card. So I have this extra die, which I could use. Do I need it to move my builder? Well, I have a move card, so actually I don't need to use it. And I have a work card. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to deploy this die with my builder, even though I don't need him yet. I'm going to use my move card, move them there. I have a move remaining, but I have nothing to use it with. That's where I want both of them. So right click, I'll end current move. Now, both of those die are there. 
I have this build card. Now a farm takes two wood and two build to make. Um, and I only have one builder there. But what I can do is I can use this build die from my pool to get the improved effect from this card. So build three, one space, one worker. So that worker on that space can build three, which will be more than enough for the farm. So I'm going to use that. And I could click here. Just so you guys know, if you want to undo something you've done, like if, for example, if I clicked that to build and I found out, oh no, I didn't have enough wood, I can't build this farm, uh, you can right click and that'll undo. I am going to build, activate the better effect of that card, so I build three with this worker. I'll click here. And now it wants me to choose which building I want to choose. So I can, any of the buildings I'm able to build, I can choose. Um, but right now I just want to farm because uh, that's what the gonna give me points right now. So I'm gonna build the farm. And so I got so one victory point float up here at one out of eleven, that's for building a building. Um, and I can keep building buildings and uh, those will keep giving me points. So I have my worker here, I have my worker card, and I'm gonna work. So I should go chop this tree down I think so I can get wood which will in turn allow me to build another house. So I'm gonna deploy a worker to go chop that tree. And then also I think I want to build some roads. So every time I build a road that counts as a building that's going to give me a point. And also if I have five roads that's going to give me five points. So building five roads is actually worth ten points in this game uh, which is quite a lot. And roads help you move around the map. Uh, they allow you to move all the way along them for one move. So if I build roads along here towards these stone pits I'm going to be able to move straight from my house to the stone pit. Uh, and then I can mine stone. Also, looking ahead, um, building a quarry is going to be worth five points in the next phase, and you build quarries on the stone pits, which allows you to mine stone more easily. Uh, so that could be a really good move, move overall. So I'll deploy my builder here. So my worker will move here for one, my builder will move there for one. I have a move three card here. Uh, so really I'd like to use a little more of that, so I could deploy another builder. I'm going to use this card three. Move my worker, my builder. Um, so I'm only going to be able to use one of these builders without moving them because roads only take one build. They don't cost any resources. So to activate them, I, act I use any die in my pool, activate the builder, click the road, that's the only option of these. And there you have it, I have a little road. Now this road would allow me to move more easily along it. I'm also going to activate my worker here to chop down the tree and you can see there's two wood on that space now so each tree when you chop it down gives you two wood and I could go gather that to allow me to build different buildings and uh, I'm gonna move my builder now this is sort of inefficient I only want him to move one space uh, because that's where I would like my road build that road and there I've got another road and each time I built those roads they gave me a point so now I'm up to four points I'm well on pace to hit the 11 points by the end of round 12. So now I did roll my gather die this turn, and so I'm going to deploy him right away, because I want to get that food from the farm. I have a builder, which will help me continue this road I'm trying to build. Now it's telling me I'm running low on food, but that's okay. I'm going to get the food. And so with two moves, I can move the gather here and the builder out here. And so I'm going to do just that. The gather moves there, builder moves there. Now see he moves all along the road for one move. So we moved from here to here for one move because of the road. And so I have a gather here and I want to gather. I could use one of these dice to activate him, but I have the gather card. The gather card is nice when you have another gather die, you can get plus one bonus. So I would get six food instead of five, but I don't have another gather die. I don't have a reroll. So I'm just going to use the card to activate him. Now I have lots of food again. I have this uh, builder right here to build the road, and again, I can use my card. If you hover over the farm, you can see what uh, what dice can interact with that building. So the farm can only be interacted with the worker. You can send the gather there to pick up the stuff on the ground, the food on the ground here, you can gather it. But uh, the only die that actually interacts with that space is the worker. Um, other buildings, I can show you here. Um, for example, the hunters that have much more advanced effects, there are three different things. I think some of them even have 
four or five, uh, up to all the different faces of the dice. And uh, so activating that face will do that effect on the building, uh, as you can see there. So that acts as an acres. Thank you everybody for watching, and I hope you'll check it out.